This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Grizzly discovery of two dead men in Toyota Pro Box on Dyke Road. Police investigators made the grizzly discovery of two dead men in the trunk of a Toyota Pro Box motor car along the Dyke Road in Portmore, St. Catherine, this morning. The bodies, which were wrapped in a black tarpaulin, have only been identified by their aliases, Jaja and the Blacks, who frequented the homestead area. We have commenced investigations. We don't have a theory around it just yet, but we suspect that this vehicle was parked here sometime this morning and might be connected to the ongoing gang feud, Senior Superintendent of Police Christopher Phillips, commander of the St. Catherine South Police Division, told the news. Bloody internecine gang violence has exploded in nearby Spanish Town since Tuesday afternoon, prompting the imposition of a 48-hour curfew after at least three men were killed in related incidents in the old capital. Simmering tensions between rival gang members have claimed several lives in the past two weeks, including a quadruple murder in the railway lane area close to Toss Pen. Four arrested in St. Elizabeth following armed robbery in Manchester. Four men were arrested and an illegal firearm seized in Santa Cruz following an armed robbery in Hatfield, Manchester on Wednesday. Head of the St. Elizabeth Police, Dwight Daly, said about 2.40 p.m., the men, who are all from Spanish Town, were traveling in a Nissan AD wagon when it was intercepted. He said the St. Elizabeth Police were alerted after the men reportedly held up and robbed people in Hatfield. During a search of the car, an illegal firearm was found. Cellular phones and the chainsaws were among the stolen items recovered. The names of those arrested are being withheld pending further investigation. Man arrested following fatal shooting at a bus park in Old Harbor. A male suspect who shot two men, one fatally, during an attack on Market Street in Old Harbor St. Catherine this morning, has been taken into custody. He was held during an operation in Old Harbor. The police report that about 8.30 a.m., armed men made attempts to rob a man in the vicinity of a bus park. They say the man ran and the woodlums opened a fire in his direction. The two men who were nearby received the gunshot wounds. The police were summoned and the injured men were taken to the hospital. One was pronounced dead while the other was admitted. The deceased is yet to be identified. The joint police military operation is still in progress and the police will continue to pursue criminals and restore order, said Senior Superintendent Christopher Phillips, commanding officer for the St. Catherine South Police Division. He is currently leading the operation. Former hotel worker who stole licensed the gun and raped a guest gets 20 years. A former hotel worker who stole the licensed firearm of a male guest at a hotel in St. James and shortly after raped two female guests at gunpoint at the same property is to serve 15 years in prison before he can be eligible for parole. Demar Scott, 27, had pleaded guilty in March to the charges when he appeared in the St. James circuit. It was reported that Scott forced himself into the room of two female American guests and raped them. While he was raping one of the women, the other managed to overpower Scott, took the gun from him and shot him in the upper body. He ran away after he was shot. One of the women handed over the firearm to the police. The police later found him at a hospital, suffering from a gunshot wound and arrested him. Scott was employed at the Rio Hotel as an entertainment coordinator two days before the incident on September 27, 2018. Justice Martin Gill sentenced him last month to 20 years imprisonment for illegal possession of firearm and to six years imprisonment for illegal possession of ammunition. He was sentenced to 20 years imprisonment each for two counts of rape and was sentenced to 20 years imprisonment each for two counts of grievous sexual assault. The sentences are to run concurrently, so he will serve 20 years. The judge ordered that Scott must serve 15 years before he can be eligible for parole. Scott was on March 2, 2018, listed by the Manchester Police via its Community Partnership Facebook page as a person of interest in connection with a series of rapes in the parish. In the post, a reward of $35,000 was offered through the Manchester Crime Tip Fund for information on Scott's whereabouts.
Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.